Hey, we mic'd up. Who else will You trying to be mic'd up? Oh, all right. Who want to be mic'd up? Look. Oh, good job. This is awesome. Thank all you guys for coming out here and supporting Bronco Nation, supporting your players. That's it, that's the one. Take it. Senior linebacker out of Fresno, California. He won this contest the last time we played this thing. <laughs> you look over here, everyone's screaming, having fun, having joy. That's it, we love each other over here. Good, <laughs> good. I beat him because he, he jumped to catch it and I hit him. I hit it, then he said safe. I said, yeah. The coaching was great. The coaching was great. The, down, down. the, coaching was great. Here the, we go. the players ex executed every play. Yeah, yeah. Go. Our job is to put them in positions to execute the play, and that's what we did today. So that's why we got them done. We're going to keep doing it. For the first time in four years, the Boise State football team hosted the Summer Softball Classic tonight over at Hawks Memorial Stadium. Yeah, let's get things started with the home run derby. Top four scores from the inning from the opening round advancing to the finals. And hey, look, Jay, you're on TV, hey. the MC of the event tonight. Well, okay, Kaula Kanijo was the tone setter in this event, helping the alumni team get back in the race, belting 13 home runs in just two minutes. The former standout defensive back would lead all contestants in the opening rounds. But the current team would get a nice little boost from Maddox Madsen. The Mad Dog was the 5A State Player of the Year back in high school in Utah. He showed he hasn't missed a step with nine home runs. Well, you know who also hasn't missed a step? DJ Schramm. The last time they did this competition, he won it as a true freshman. Now a couple years later and a full-grown beard, he led all players with 10 jacks. The final top performer was another alumni. Keikoa Nawahine hit 11 out of the yard, barely edging out Winston Venable, who had 10. Those were the players who advanced to the finals as the current team beat the alumni team narrowly, 58-56. to As for the individual champ, the Mad Dog would prevail. He hit 16 bombs in the final round. DJ coming close, just one short with 15. Madsen would have a big night in the actual game, too, adding three in the real game. Okay, so let's go there. The offense wearing blue in this one. The defense wearing orange. All week, there was a ton of smack talk, and it led to this very moment. Tight end Riley Smith guaranteed an offense victory early in the week, and the captain leading by example crushes one to deep left. The O squad will put up three runs to start off the game in the top of the inning, but later on, the defense finds their groove. Yeah, here's a new guy on the team, defensive lineman Howard Brown. We mentioned he played quarterback in high school. Well, he can also swing a bat. That's up in the air for Ashton Genty. Can't quite track it down as he gets the solo home run. Now, to Genty's credit, really showed how hard he is to bring down. Stayed on his feet after getting tripped up by the fence. Yeah, the defense would continue to shine. How about Dimitri Washington? He leaves a no-doubter, crushing it to deep left field. In the bottom of the third inning, the defense hung eight runs on the scoreboard. Yeah, also shout-out to Scott Matlock here joining in on the celebration. Would have liked to see him get some ABs tonight. So offense running out of time in this one, but they would rally a heck of a comeback. How about Tyler Crow? the Nampa native slapping a line drive over the fence. Unfortunately, the defense would hold. Maybe foreshadowing pretty well for this season. They go on to win it 14 to 12.